200 pages, many of the pages still blacked out, uh, top secret, mm -hmm. uh, but it reveals essentially a laundry list of abusive tactics used against suspected high-value Al-Qaeda targets, including, for instance, the 9-11 mastermind, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. They told him, we will kill your children who are in U.S. custody if anything else happens to the U.S. There was the suspect responsible for the bombing of the USS Cole. They told him they'd bring his mother in. They wanted to suggest to him that there'd be sexual abuse of his mother. They used a power drill and a gun, put it next to his head, essentially what amounted to a kind of threat of death. As well, there were mock executions and extensive waterboarding of many of the uh, 300 or 100 CIA uh, captured suspects. So a lot of detail about what was done. Now, of course, the question becomes accountability. How high do you think this goes? Absolutely. According to this report, uh, many at the highest levels of government, Congress uh, and the Attorney General John Ashcroft were well aware of the repeated use, for instance, of waterboard. They, Ashcroft knew 119 times it was used against one single individual. There were never any complaints from Congress, and Ashcroft actually testified last year it only happened three times. So lots of questions about this policy that was put into effect. Uh, the CIA says these are rogue operators who exceeded the guidelines. Others say they operated in the spirit of the guidelines sent down by the Bush White House after 9-11. This is certainly just the beginning. There's, There's going to be a lot, a lot more to come. More documents coming out even today. All right, Brian, thank you very much. We appreciate it.